Hello and welcome to a hero spotlight on Gladiator, a former notoriously high-pitched, raspy-voiced adventurer with keen knowledge on booby traps and whipping his enemies into submission. As you may have experienced difficulty with, Gladiator's Pitfall is a delayed cast small AoE disable that deals moderate damage and slows movement speed. In a lane, the easiest way to aim the skill without the help of an ally is to place it based on where your opponent would most likely stand when they attempt to last hit or deny a creep. Showdown is a targeted no damage spell that summons an arena where a hero is standing, teleporting them back to that location after a short duration. The skill has no range limit once casted and can only be avoided by spell immunity. Most players use this skill to chase down enemies, but as you can see here, it's also effectively casted on this allied flint to teleport him back to safety. This skill also helps you aim your pitfall without fear of missing, as long as you time it correctly and cast it at least 2 seconds after showdown. Gladiator's third skill, Flagellation, allows him to deal bonus damage in a large area in front of him. As long as the skill isn't on cooldown, it will activate upon attacking and deal his attack damage plus a bonus up to once every 4 seconds at max. When chasing low HP heroes, you can use this boost in range to finish them off by attacking a nearby unit at the proper angle. An interesting thing to note that may make denying in a lane much easier is that when this skill is ready for use, you will gain the bonus attack damage for all of your denies without setting off the cooldown. Gladiator's ultimate is most frequently seen flying across the screen and completely missing the heroes it was meant to hit. This skill appears a thousand range behind the hero, travels forward and lands a thousand range in front of wherever you were standing and facing when casted, stunning and damaging all enemies on landing. All allied heroes in the area also receive a temporary buff that reduces all incoming damage by a whopping 50%. However, once it wears off, they still take the damage, but it's not lethal. In order to land your ultimate without it soaring past your enemies, make sure to stand back from where you want it to hit, since it'll land a thousand range in front of where you're facing. This skill can be used effectively to counter-initiate and turn the tide of a team battle in your favor. For training Gladiator's skills, normally you can start by immediately leveling his flagellation to max as soon as possible, even at level 1 unless you plan on coordinating a level 1 gank or fighting in the river. For optimal farming and damage output, max both his pitfall and flagellation, training his ultimate as soon as possible. After both are maxed, you can go ahead and put the rest of the points into showdown, at which point you should have enough damage output and items to make good use of it. Item builds should focus on survivability and massive damage output. Here's a good example of using Pitfall at level 1 to get an early first blood with the help of allies in a tri-lane situation. But if you're soloing or in a more defensive lane, Flagellation will prove useful for getting early last hits and immediately putting harassing pressure on opposing heroes. An interesting way to get the jump on the enemy team is to use Showdown on yourself or an ally and quickly run or windwalk in to deal damage, then get a free teleport back to safety. This is especially effective if they waste stuns or important skills on you in the process. In combination with Assassin's Shroud, Rift Shards is arguably the best item on Gladiator, as getting a critical strike on your flagellation can demolish an enemy team since it deals true damage. Though a risky item to build in any serious game, Doombringer wreaks absolute havoc in team battles and can cause squishier enemy heroes to spontaneously combust. Shadow.